Hey guys, I wanted to do a video today on my my wind system. Uh, finally got it all tweaked out to where I can't possibly do anymore. <laughs> um, but what I discovered is a couple new things, and uh, they seem to be working really good. Yesterday, from the system, I've seen 2,100 watts. Uh, as you know, I'm using the HY1000, HY400, HY600 in the WinMax series, and also have one 750 uh Windy Nation PMA with the five large blades from Windy Nation uh, in my backyard, which is on a totally separate system. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was what I'm doing with these grid tide inverters in the system. Uh, what we have here is we have three turbines on my house that come in. They have their own rectifiers in the back, so it's all AC converted to DC. Uh, when you come down here, there's three positive bars and three negative bars. I know it's hard to see what's all going on here, but uh, just bear with me. Um, each one has a positive and negative bar. Off each positive and negative of each turbine, it has its own inverter set. So uh, I'll explain the, the, the first uh, the first one. There. This is the HY400. Now the HY400, because of where it sits at my location on the one side of my house, I have no obstructions, no trees, uh, nothing to worry about. So it hits 24 volts very quickly in about seven mile an hour winds. All right. So this particular turbine here is on its own inverter. And it's only one inverter. It's way back in the back there. You can see the green light flashing. You see it's making power. All right. Uh, that one there is a 22 to 60 volt 500 watt inverter. And that turbine is rated for up to a 500 watt max. So I'm pretty comfortable with that setup. I can probably see about 400 watts out of it before that inverter would go to a dump or overvolt. So I'm pretty satisfied there. It's not worth the money for me to buy another inverter to come on YouTube and brag to everybody that I got 600 watts out of a 400 watt turbine. The money's not worth it. I'm all about um, the return on investment and I'm about kilowatt hours produced. I am grid tied. I'm not battery, so I'm not looking for per se amps. I'm looking for kilowatt hours produced. And that all reflects back on this meter I have here, which in turn reflects on my utility bill. Okay? Um, so that's for the HY400. Um, it's on a separate inverter, and it's got one inverter. Now, let's talk about the 1K, what I did. What I did with the 1K 1,000-watt uh, wind turbine is I have two inverters on it, and I'll explain why. Um, in lower wind speeds between, let's say, 0 and 10, I can't really hit 24 volts, and if I do, it's, it's tough because it's a roof mount turbine. It's on the roof, it's up five feet above my roof, so let's say it's up about 25 feet or so in the air. The other two turbines, the HY400 and HY600, are not are up higher, so they're gonna catch more wind. So that being said, I made an adjustment with this turbine, and what I did was, not only did I put a bigger tail on it because it's lower, it will take more turbulent wind, but I also put two inverters on it. I use a 10 to 30 for lower wind, and I use uh, 22 to uh, 60 volt for higher wind. It has a dump load, and here's the dump load coils right here. All right, there's two of them. There's one there, and there's one there. Hard to see they're black, but there's two of them there. All right, so 60 volt, it'll dump. Now, what happens is, um, in lower wind speeds, of let's say 7 miles an hour to 10 to 12 miles an hour, um, this inverter here will give me power. Now, it might not be much. It's probably, I don't know, anywhere between 10 watts and... Uh, 150 watts, okay, and this thing will go to overvolt in about 18 mile an hour wind. So, let's say this thing covers from 10 watts up to 200 watts before it overvolts. All right, that's a beautiful thing because if I switch it off, uh, which I have switches over here to control these inverters, so if I want to switch off that low volt inverter, I can do that and let that let that Winmax 1000 watt run at 22 volts. But as you see. It's down in the 10 volt range. I don't have enough wind to hit 22 volts. And there's there's a lot of days where it sits right there. So you can see right there. So this is 1.6. That's what the inverters are drawing. Now if I flick it on the 10 volts, and once the wind picks up, I'll make power quicker. And that's the objective. All right, there we go. Say 5 watts, 3 watts. All right, it's not big. It's not, not a lot of watts. You know, sometimes I'll get 150 out of it. Sometimes I'll get nothing. Um, but the objective is, is it can produce in lower winds, and that's what I want. Uh, why would I want to produce from 15 to 30 mile an hour winds when I can pr produce from 7 to whatever mile until these big inverters overvolt? So that's the whole purpose of it. Now, I did the same thing with the HY600. Um, this one here is on the other side of my house, opposite end of the 400, and there's a lot of trees around. 
So what I did was I took off the three blades because there's a lot of trees and it won't start in low wind. And I put the five blade Windy Nation uh, blade set on. They're the 28 inch blades. I tried the bigger blades on it. It don't work because I need RPM and, you know, just a lot of different configurations. They seem to work the best. The three blades do work, but I need higher wind. And, again, I want more kilowatt hour production. So for me to get that, I had to put the five blades on, and I had to put a bigger tail fin on it uh, because the trees make major turbulent winds when the leaves are on. Once the leaves are gone, I don't have bad turbulent wind. But, you know, for six months of the year, I do, and that's why I put the bigger tails on. Um, so on your wind maxes, if you're not up and you're not in clean air, uh, you are going to get, um, you know, they're going to flail around a little bit unless you put a bigger tail on it because most of us are not up 100 feet in the air, um, you know, to, to get the perfect uh, wind turbine setup. You know, we're basically residential people and, uh, you know, we have trees around and we have to make the adjustments. So even no matter what turbine you buy, you might have to adjust the turbine to your site. And that's what I've done with all three of them. I've adjusted them to my site. Um, as well as the inverters. So again, this guy also has a 250 and a 1K. All right, and this one can max out. This HY600 can max out to 750, 750 watts. So I do have the inverter here, and it's oversized a little bit, which is good. I don't have to worry about it burning up or anything. Um, and it's the same situation. I can come over here and I can shut the 10 to 30 volt inverter off and just let the 1K inverter 22 to 60 run run the show. All right, which it is, and there's some watts coming in now. Or I can drop it down back to 10 volt, 10 to 30 volt, and run it that way in lower winds. All right? So I'm always getting watts. Um, so what happens is these two, this 250 and this 1K, will join together at 22 volts and help each other out. Now, when this goes to overvolt, this will take the brunt of the load. So what the, the beauty of all this is, is that your turbine will not run uh, hot. Because the more wind speed you get, the more efficient it runs because uh, this system is allowing the voltage to climb and the amps to lower. Well, amps create heat. So if I'm running all this at 10 to 30 volt in high winds, my rectifiers, you can cook an egg on them. And I experienced that last year. Uh, my rectifiers were heating up. I was getting power, but I was also losing a little bit because of the heat in the rectifiers. So I thought about this for a while, and I tried it out, and it seems to work great. Um, so if you do have a wind turbine, um, you know, in the... Uh, China PMA, um, you know, Windy Nation, Winmax, Swear, uh, turbines like that, they seem to really um, react to this kind of situation. Car PMA, treadmill PMA, ceiling fan motor, guys, um, you know, I haven't tested the ceiling fan motor or treadmill motor, but I can pretty much tell you that uh, they don't work very well. Uh, Car PMA, um, I had a Wind Blue I tested in here. I won't go into other other companies, but I had a Wind Blue, and basically they're all the same. And you need a lot of wind uh, to get the voltage up, and then you can get some amps out of them. What's the problem? We're not looking for high winds. Most of us don't have high winds, and um, you know if you do and you can get your turbine up real high, uh, maybe it'll work for you. But, again, I keep stating that in my situation, they did not work. So, very happy with the Winmax wind turbines. Um, they're always producing electricity for me. Uh, whether it's 50 watts or 2,100 watts or 10 watts, I'm still getting something, uh, provided that I have wind. I've had a really bad go of wind lately. Last two months, we haven't had nothing for wind, and I'm hoping they're finally here now. Um, so yesterday we had 24 mile an hour gust, and I've seen 2100 watts out of all four turbines, and I know there's room to go. Uh, but again, real quick on the situation here, um, if you do have a decent turbine, um, you can get a 250, run a 10 to 30, and a 22 to 60, and run them together in parallel with your turbine, and that will allow you to get low wind watts. Um, again, it depends on your site. If your turbine can hit 24 volt or 50 volt, whatever your turbine's rated at, um, quicker, then you don't need to put these in front. But I do. So I've adjusted everything to my site. Everything is now completely to my site. And again, these guys will run from 10 volt all the way to 60, and then they dump. Yesterday, I was at about 58 volts, 24 miles an hour, and 2,100 watts. So it's pretty much a conclusion that I can say that anything over about 25 mile an hour winds, um, you know, I don't need any higher wind speeds than that to get what I want out of my system. Nor will it be cost effective for me to put another inverter in and say, okay, well, I'm going to try to get 3,000 watts out of the system um, in 40 mile an hour winds. Well... The chance of me getting 40 mile an hour winds versus the, the amount of money it costs to buy the inverter would never pay for itself. 
So I would never buy another inverter. I'm satisfied with what I have. And um, instead of me pissing the money away on that and trying to come on YouTube again and saying, hey, I made 3,000 watts of 40 mile an hour winds for twice a year, I'd rather put it in solar. Um, because I know that solar will give me power every single day, cloudy or not, more than likely I will have, you know, a hell of a lot more power coming out of my solar system uh, throughout the year than I will with wind. Um, wind is nice for the winter. But in reality, I mean, for me to see 2,100 watts out of my system, uh, it will be about 15 times a year if I'm lucky. Um, if I put a 3K solar system on my house, I will see 2,100 watts out of my system about 200 times a year. All right? So just be careful with your wind when you're doing wind. Um, you have to have the right application, the right mindset, the right parts and components. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work for you. Um, you know, just my opinion. It's a good hobby. It's fun to do, uh, but it does become a money pit um, after a while. And um, it's nice to get things right off the hop, and um, you know, be done with it and move on. So that's how I'm doing it. There you go. They're joining up there. I also have some digital meters over here. So when the brake front's on, I can kind of see what's going on without lifting this whole this whole case open here. All right. And I do have a battery backup system uh, for emergency backup. I have 10 batteries underneath here, underneath this uh, box. But uh, what I wanted to show you else is really cool is I have a 230 watt shot solar panel out back for my soul, for my battery bank. And um, if you can see that, it's putting out almost 12 amps. Now how am I getting 12 amps out of one solar panel? Well, what I did was I bought a 36 volt uh, solar panel at 8 amps. And I, uh, or 7 point something amps, and uh, I ran into a 12 volt battery bank, so I doubled my amps. <laughs> and um, over here is the, this is the charge controller I have running it. Just the Morning Star 45, and it's dumping about 4 or 5 amps right now, 13 volts. And when it dumps, I made a control box up here. It dumps into that grid tied inverter, which is a wind grid tied inverter, by the way. Uh, because when the utility shuts off, it'll go to a dump load automatically. When it goes to a dump load, it goes into this resistor. So if I'm not home and the utility goes down, uh, it'll just waste the power in here if the bank is already charged. Or if the grid time, or I'm sorry, if my inverter kicks on, then it won't waste any power. I have an inverter under, under this cabin here, it's right down there, a uh, 1200 watt inverter that has some of my circuits on it. This is a homemade ATS switch that I made. Um, so when the power goes out, it'll go directly to the inverter. Uh, I can't remember what breaker is. Maybe. There it is there. So right now that's on inverter power. So when that's activating the grid shutting down. And then when the grid comes back on, that'll kick back in and yeah, we'll be good to go. Now, they've, now the power is going back uh, from my electrical panel. So, pretty cool little system, homemade, didn't have to buy any uh, ATS switches from um, um, the manufacturers out there, it's just a definite purpose contactor that works great. And uh, you have a positive, the switch is the positive and negative by the way, so I'm running off the negative on the DC side when, that, when the uh, grid goes down, I'm not running off AC power from the grid, you have to switch your neutrals or it won't work right. Alright, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it, everything... Uh, Everything's tiny. I got a little 12 volt switch in here that comes off the battery bank. There's some more wind watts. And again, I'm not lighting the world on fire with watts, guys, but I am happy to see that, uh, you know, it's producing well. And right now they're running at 10 to 30 volts, except for this guy here. The HY400 only just runs 24 volt. And the funny thing is, uh, I'm going to dig this out of the trash here. For all you guys that want to use these for wind, I highly recommend you don't. Uh, <laughs> this was mounted in here the other day, and I tried to use that in front of the uh, HY400, and it spit it up and chewed it out. It, it chewed it up and spit it out. Smoked it. This thing's done. This thing's trash now. No good no more. That turbine burned right through that inverter and cooked it. Blew out the capacitors and everything. You have to use the right inverters and the Sun G with the dump loads are the ones used for wind. If you use the other solar inverters, uh, you're going to have extremely bad results. Um, I knew it would happen. I just wanted to try it one more time and, and it happened again. It just got smoked. So now I'm just running this guy on 24 volt. He can hit 24 volt real easy um, so it's not an issue. Alright? 
All right, guys. We well, hope you learned a lot, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, this is pretty much how you do it with the China GTI inverters. Thanks again.